Hey everybody, we're playing some more slide three. Let's go ahead and start <clears throat> the rumble down under with the setup. So funny enough, my power went out and I actually played like the first 20 minutes, but my power went out and I lost the file. So just like old times. The gang was back in action. But little by little, we learned that Murray's heart just wasn't in it. Without the guru's permission to give up on his dreamtime training, he'd never really feel comfortable returning to the gang. We knew we needed to help him out. So, we packed up our things, whipped up some quick disguises, and headed for the Australian outfit. I love how Murray's got a children's outfit on. That's kind of funny. Alright, one Australian. Along the way, love Murray it. told us story after story about his teacher's amazing abilities. Star Wars, Apparently, classic. this guru of his was capable his of fantastic feats. He used the dream time to blend perfectly into his surroundings, and even gain mental control over the weak-minded. If even half the stories were true, then this was a guy I just had to meet. Our gang needed to grow its ranks for a chance to get inside the Cooper vault. And this guru, this outback mystic, was looking like the best recruit we could have ever asked for. Seems like a cool guy. However, when we finally arrived in the outback, it was a shock to find that things had changed. And the guru was nowhere to be seen. All right, Sly and the gang going to Rumble down under. I like this level. It's uh, but my power went out, so we're gonna go ahead and redo everything. Appreciate you breaking the news to him that I want to break off my training. No problem, pal. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Anybody you call master must be a heck of a guy. Oh, he's awesome. He'll get inside your head and freak you out six ways from Sunday. Uh, awesome. Interesting. Yeah, see, I don't. <laughs> that doesn't sound like fun to me. I like being in my right mind, to be honest. Right, let's go ahead and do a little little parkour. Get over to his uh, little seems like his smoking spot at this point. This dude has got to be on something. Sorry, pal. This cave's empty. Got any other ideas where he might be? Well, that's his hut. But he doesn't really hang out there on account of the smell. The smell? It's a long story. I had to apologize up and down for like a month before he'd speak to me again. What did you do? The unspeakable sly. The unspeakable. He pooped in his hut. Well, thanks for speaking of it. I'm headed for the hut. Yeah, he definitely took a deuce in his uh, in his hut there. I don't know if uh, homie just has like a real small toilet and Murray absolutely like blasted it. I'm talking like Team Rocket. He just absolutely de de what is it that uh, defiled toilet seat right, where were you supposed to be going oh yeah up here oh you got some shmoney on you hey say less i'll take that off of your hands thank you right, i don't care if you see me at this point Looks like you're going to get some rock climbing practice Ew. and here's the one other thing so, so far, because of I lost the original file, nothing has really been lost. We're just redoing the one mission that I recorded. But I did buy two moves, and I'm wondering if Sorry, that Murray. stayed. Nobody's home. And by the looks of it, I'd say the guru is fighting someone or something off here. I'm starting to think the miners might have got to him. You might be right. They'd come in and be all angry and yelling, and he'd be all peaceful, and they'd just get ticked. Then he'd try to find a middle way. And they just go crazy and smash everything up and then haul them off. Where do you think they might have taken him? They got him! My master's a goner! <laughs> Yo, Murray, chill. Maybe we should get Bentley on the line. Yeah, man's having a panic it's attack. It's tough to say, but given the layout of the miners' camp, I'd venture a guess that they use that area with a high fence as a makeshift stockade. 
Hmm. Seem about right. It looks like there might be a way up using that cliff below. Shouldn't be a problem. Just keep an eye out for that gyrocopter. I'm positive it's what gave away the guru's position. Good tip. Thanks, pal. Stay away from uh, big helicopter. Yeah. Whoop. Also, apparently, stay away from the fire too. Yeet. Let's go ahead. You got treasure on you? No. Then I don't. Then I don't need you. I ain't interested. Really? I'll probably go up here. Just do a little. Uh... Do I not have my smoke smoke bomb? Okay, so we did keep the move. Okay, so I guess I'll just let you guys know at the start of the level last first time recording this. I bought the knockout dive and I bought the push attack. So those are the only two things that I bought. Um, so let's go ahead and put the smoke here. So we did buy this knockout dive, which is this thingy. Okay, that was great for me. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, dude. Well, good thing we're here to stop him. Okay, I literally, I'm just grabbing the same hook over and over. Sly, come on, man. Grab something else. Up we go. Alright, where you at? Big man. You must be the guru. I'm a good friend of Murray's. He's come asking to be released from Bro, his training. Bro, what's with his pants? Sure, I'll just bust you out of here and we'll go talk to him. Hi, how are you doing, Pata? You seriously won't leave without your gear? Yeah, I can see that the miners have really done a number on your land here. As for your walking staff and moonstone, me and my gang have a real talent for stealing back things that were wrongfully taken. Okay. Let's go get uh the local homeless man is sticking stone back. Yes, so the only thing that got lost in that whole thing was really just that um that first little setup mission, and then I bought two moves, and that was really about it. So now let's go ahead and continue with the game. So I also did do a small portion of this next slime mission, but um I was in the middle of the Okay. I was in the middle of the mission when the power went out, so... Okay, come on, for real? Bro, I, I didn't even... I wasn't the one that bombed you guys, chill. Not me. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, do a little hop, skip, and a jump. After capturing the guru, the dingoes confiscated his magic walking staff and moonstone. Without these objects, the guru is powerless. Given that we're dealing with miners, I bet they stashed the goods in one of the caves around here. It's a secure location with plenty of guys on duty to provide protection. I agree. The most likely candidate is this mine shaft. It appears to have the highest number of workers coming in and out. Good place to start. I'm on it. All right, let's go get a uh, homeboy his uh, his stick and stick and stone back. Cave number Those one. Caves are gonna be dark. Your optimizer goggles will make navigation easier. Very cool. Nope. Let's not use the 3D. I feel like, do I really want to be using technology from the early 2010s? Yeah. If they're here, the guru's items will be snatched at the far Oops. end of this cave. I almost smacked my forehead off of that drill. That wouldn't have been very cool. Okay, well, clearly I'm a super gamer right now. Well, we could probably stick on this one to get to the next one. Yeet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at us go. Give me your money, dude. I'm here to take your valuables. Also, I'm taking all the money that's stuffed inside the wooden chairs. Woo! I very much almost missed that. I really hope these drills just don't randomly turn on. I feel like I wouldn't have toes. Let's go ahead and yoink this guy's treasure. What do you got? Silver. Okay. For a second, I thought that was um, a bronze medal and I was about to uh, start cooking the dude. But you know what? We'll take a silver one. I'm not into tearing up the environment Whoops. or anything. But 
But these caves are rich with opals. I can see why these miners are so driven. All right. I need to grab that point right there. Boink. Go ahead and just uh, jump behind this dude. I'm not gonna even bother robbing him. I'm just gonna smack him into the ground here. Right, let's go grab uh, homeboy stuff. A couple of lasers for some odd reason. All right, speed run this. Speed run. Speed run. Ooh. Okay, never mind. Maybe not speed run. All right, dude. I'm actually trash. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. Easy peasy. Got his purple stone back. Time to take you back to your rightful owner. These miners are smarter than they look. They booby trapped the moonstone. It looks like a light sensitive detonator. If I can get it outside and into the sunlight, it should power down. All right. Ooh. Speed. I am speed. You don't even know how fast I really am. Boink. Ooh, we jumped up real high with that. And I'm just not looking for a fight here, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, just uh, kind of walk, walk past those guys. Dude, a paraglider here would be extremely clutch. That would have been the absolutely juiciest glide of my life. It's okay though. It was still a nice fall. All right, we out. Time to time to go get the the dude's stick now. We got his ball. Let's need the stick. The walking staff must be hidden in their other cave complex. I've marked the entrance in your binocular. Okay. Um. What is the easiest way to get up there? I'm assuming this is probably... Can I just jump on that little thingy? Nope, apparently not. I'm guessing this is going to be the easiest way up there, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, How about we just not do that, huh? Let me just uh, walk right past you. Those... The dudes with the... The Indiana Jones homies, they're... uh. They're kind of snipers. No They'll hit you pretty easily. Whatsoever. Fortunately, it seems the Guru's Moonstone is providing enough illumination to let you see. Watch your step. These mine pits are deep. Well, it's a good thing we went for the stone first then, or we, <laughs> we would have no light. So, interesting. Alright. But yeah, those, uh, the people with the, with the little whips... Their attack range is farther than you than you might think it is. All right, speed run. Okay, of course. I tried speed running it the first time I recorded this, and I actually got it. Of course, on my second run, I wouldn't be able. No, I had it, and then I went too far. I got too excited. All right, I'm getting a little too excited nowadays. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. There we go. Alright, we got homeboy's stick back. A little twig. Wonder what's so special about this staff? Another booby trap for a stick? These guys are paranoid. And from the sound of it, they've called in reinforcements. Nothing like a horde of angry dingoes to make things a bit more interesting. Yeah, I'm not not sure on the reasoning behind protecting a stick with like your life, but um Woo! Let's see if we can try not to get sniped by those guys. Again, those, those guys will snipe you pretty fast. First time I did this, I stayed here for like 15 minutes trying to get a no-hit run. Well, this one's not going to be it either. I guess if I hit them, it kind of slightly delays their whipping. So I could try that, but... I love these sliding things. They just feel... No! I'm trash. I think this is this is actually where my power went out right here. So from here on out, all new content for me. I'm pretty sure I was just sliding on one of these and everything just went dark and I'm like Alright. Oh what up? I wish I could grab your treasure, but sadly I I think I gotta go. Nice bird drawings again. Man, someone someone's out here decorating these caves with bird drawings. 
Alright, we got a stick and ball back. You wanna come back to the hideout with us? We could like try to brainwash each other. That'd be fun, like a fun sleepover game. Where do I do I gotta go? Oh the mission's done, right? Okay, so I just need to go back. Alright, well let's go ahead and uh, grab Murray here. Right before I let me just grab this dude's treasure. Thank you for your silver pen. Kind of trash, but it's okay. No chair, two gold. Where's the hideout again? Oh, it's over there. So, gimme, gimme, gimme. I I really really like that the game added that Bentley and Murray can now rob people too, because that was the very annoying part in most of the other games is that the fact that you couldn't steal unless you had Sly. So I'm really, really happy they uh, found a way to implement that into this game. It makes it really, really nice. And whoever you're playing with, you can gather money along the way. Mm. Can we make this jump? Oh, yeah. Murray's an absolute unit, but he's actually got some fairly good height on him. Um, so this is the boost pad. Whoops! Is that not the way to get up there? Bro, are you... Do you really want to fight? Are you sure this is what you want to do with your life? Okay, well, you no longer have life. I know you're a little nervous to see your teacher again, but he's requested that you and I pay him a visit individually. If it wasn't for the guru... I wouldn't be the Murray you see before you today. I'm just not too sure he'll be pleased with my progress as a mystic. What are you talking about? You used the aboriginal ball form to great effect back in Venice. He'll be proud of you. Maybe, but I lost my temper and got in a fight with Octavio. To help me? I'm sure the guru is happy to see friends sticking up for each other. Head into this cave. It'll take you right up to it. Okay, Bentley. Caves ahoy! Let's do it. Let's see what is in the cave. I wonder if it's going to be one of those like, little Star Wars things with Luke going inside the caves of Dagobah. And he starts absolutely hallucinating and sees his own face inside of Darth Vader. Murray, try throwing rocks to destroy those stalagmites. Of course, uh, throwing guards will work too. I want you because I, I want to shake. No! I want her to shake him down! Get out of here. I don't like you. Yeah, I just want. No! I want her to take your money. That's okay. Here we go. Should I take another rock with me? or No, I actually just grabbed this dude. Yeah, in a sense, Murray's actually the easiest to get treasure with because you just hit him and take your stuff. Unlike Sly, where you have to like keep a distance, and it's actually much easier to steal with Murray. Uh, do we need another rock? No, it doesn't look like it. So whenever I see treasure with Murray, I'm I instantly get excited. All right, I guess we're gonna have to hit this dude in the head with a rock. Sorry, guy. Is he a different enemy? He looks like a different enemy. You got money on you? Nope. Okay, well. Later. I hope you, uh, enjoy the mines. According to the mine's hydraulic flow chart, the door ahead appears to be sealed shut. Then I'll just bash it in! What's the good of having fists if you can't smack steel doors with them? It's too thick, even for you. No, to get through, we'll have to overload the pressure in this piston. You want me to punch it? I can do that. <laughs> Use your <laughs> way too excited for this. ball form to bounce on top of the piston and smash it down. Build up enough hydraulic pressure and the door is sure to open. Piston beware. You're about to be bounced. All right, Murray. A lot of enthusiasm. You love to see it, though. All right, ball form. Here we go. Boing. Boing. Who just leaves a piston out in the open, though? It's like a random kid could just come by and jump on it and 
Eat it, piston sucker! Alright. Good dialogue, good dialogue. <laughs> piston sucker. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright. Give me your money. Oh, never mind. Actually, I can throw him twice. Never mind. I forgot that he's one of the big guys and he actually takes quite a few hits. Is he gonna try to snipe me? No, he's bad. Another locked door. To open this one, he'll need to overload all three pistons at the same time. Okay. How hard could that be? Wait, I totally missed that button press. I think I need to be like closer to the ground to do it. Alright, come on. Isn't that hard? I wonder if this like hurts Murray's spine. I feel like he could have some pretty like warped vertebrae from something like this. Alright, here we go. Last one. No, last one now. No, last one now. Okay, I'm just gonna stop now. Oh yeah, I forgot that they turned green. I did it! Three against one, and I still took you piston chumps to school! Yo, that dude up there had a red face. That dude's angry. Whoa! Look at the size of that guy! He must be jacked up by that mask of dark earth the guru was warning us about! Curious, it seems to make the wearer much larger. Probably more aggressive, too. I can take him! My righteous quest to see the guru won't be stopped by some big stupid freak in a mask! Even if you won, you'd have nowhere to go. The door through has an electric deadbolt. This whole area runs off the same circuit. Even the drills are linked up. Then I'll throw this clown into the drills! That might break the circuit. Give it a try. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, throw Big Boy into the drills here. Keep it up. You did some damage. Ow. Big old kangaroo. I feel bad though, because the kid doesn't have the mask on. So it's just the mama that's kind of nuts right now. Oop, I made a mistake. Mistakes have been made. Point. That mask can run! He's out of here. Intriguing. Press on to the guru. He'll have some answers. The door should be unlocked now that the drill circuit is broken. All right, what up, guru? Open up. Oh, that'll be useful for later. I have returned, my master. The black water now runs clear. I'd like to. I am asking. Oh man. Yeah. I want to join back up with my friends, and uh, we're hoping you'd come along too. Babaji. You'd love it in the gang. We have all kinds of fun. Miners, gyrocopters, and a mask of dark earth. Yeah, that's a lot to deal with. But we'll help you. I promise. Thanks, Guru. I'm happy to see you too. Right, let's destroy this mask for him and he'll come along. Very nice. It feels like a fair trade to me. You give me your mind control powers and uh, we'll destroy a, a thingy for you. Oh, big truck. Alright, that's where we're going next, but very quickly. I see this guy has a little something shiny in his pocket. So it's mine now. Yoink. Silver pen. Kind of trash. Ooh, money's the other direction. Right, you go that way. Where is it? Big old truck. Ooh, this guy has treasure too? And these guys are loaded. Oh, this guy's a bronze ring. That's trash. You don't deserve... You don't deserve a life. Ooh, okay, hydraulic. Little boing thing right here. That's a, I'm not supposed to be here. Yeah, I feel like Murray's probably not 
the greatest swimmer on the planet. I think we gotta go a little around. Are you sure that's a good idea? Are you positively sure that following a hippo is that great of an idea? Can I pick up these boxes? Alright, you're gonna get yeeted. Kobe. Oh, you have treasure too? You're gonna give me your treasure. I think I just threw all those coins into the gross water, but... I can grab some of them, actually. Alright, here we go. Murray, let's motor out to Ayers Rock and scare away those mining dingoes. Your guru wants it purified. Awesome! This is the biggest truck I've ever gotten to drive! I could crush houses with this baby! Let's do it. It is a pretty gigantic truck. I don't... And also, he's just driving on water. I thought that was like a deep, dirty lake. Apparently that's just a little bit of sludge, so... Cool, I guess. Oh, yeah! I have an idea of how we might drive the miners out of Ayers Rock, but for my plan to work. We'll need to force the drill on this rig deeper into the ground. Okay, Bentley. You've got my interest. Though it looks like I may have to take care of a few guards if I'm going to get at those drill controls. Defeat the guards and start the drill. Then Murray can begin phase two of my plan. All right, let's do it. Oh, we just knock them off. That sounds about right. Actually, not a bad idea. One question, though. How do I capture scorpions with a truck? The vehicle is equipped with a supercharged e-brake, which, if pulled when moving, will cause a forward flip. Time it correctly, and you'll trap a scorpion in the mining that's built into the bed of the truck. Okay, Bentley. Bring on the scorpions. Not so fast. The truck's tires will heat up quickly in this blazing hot sand. You'll have to cool them down by driving into the water or running over scorpions. Watch your heat meter to make sure they don't melt. And remember, we're only interested in the red soldier scorpions. The blue worker scorpions won't help us scare the miners off. The truck controls are straightforward. Hold the X button to go forward and the square button to drive in reverse. When you're oh. going fast enough, press the up. You'll need to trap those red scorpions, Murray. Use the R1 button after you've built up some speed. Skirt! Yes. Nice work. Looks like more are being driven to the surface. Alright, seems pretty easy to me. Uh -huh. It's actually kind of cool. We don't get to drive cars very often, so... Anything with car driving is gonna be a fun mission in my book here. We're also gonna have to probably cool our tires down in a minute here. Did I get that guy? I don't think so. I think I completely missed him. Alright, but we can't let our uh, tires overheat here, so let's go ahead and uh, chill on the little pool for a second. Yeet! Right. We need to get these blue ones out of the way. We don't want no blues. Here we go. I mean, can't we just grab a couple of the blue ones? I feel like even the blue ones are still pretty gigantic, scary scorpions, to be honest. Let's grab you, I guess. Never mind. Ooh, yeah, you're coming with me. Hang tough for a minute. My sensors are showing a drop off in underground movement. We'll have to drill deeper to keep the scorpions coming out. Sly, you'll have to climb to the top of the drill tower and override the depth control system. Okay, Bentley. I'm on my way. Alright. Where's the first hook? Whoop. 
There we go. Oh, that was a slight fail. I wonder if I can just, like, skip a hook. I probably shouldn't, because then it might take me longer to get back up. But, I want to. Blink. There we go. Deeper. Wait a minute. It's draining the water around the tower. Hurry, you'll have to rely on squishing scorpions to keep your tires cool from here on out. No problem, Bentley. I totally got the hang of it now. All right. That was a little dumb, to be honest, but it's okay. Bro. Bentley, homie, there was a blue one in the way. Plus, these, th again, the blue ones are still, like, if you look at the size of the blue ones compared to the truck, dude, these scorpions are still like 10 feet tall, dude. Even the blue ones are kind of terrifying. I'm sure if I grab a blue or two, the guards won't be like, well, there's a blue one in the mix. Why, why should we be scared? Like, dude. This is a, just a 10 foot scorpion in front of you? You. Yes! I would absolutely poop my pants, to be honest. I mean, most people would. Where are the red one's at? All the workers are out. Where are the soldiers at? Am I just like missing? Oh, there you are. I was, was I just missing it? There we go. Alright, you're coming with me, Mr. Krabs. Arr, give me money. Hey, right, where are you at, red ones? Where are you hiding? Oh, our tires are getting a little hot. Let's try to run over a couple of these blue boys here. While we search. Ah, there you are. You're coming. Dude, I hate it when I do that. I'm just slightly sideways, so the game is like, nope. That is not your scorpion. There we go. One more. Here we go. Bonk. Great job, Murray. Now back that truck full of scorpions up to the mine entrance and deliver that not so friendly payload. Oh my. Now, yeah, see, those things are gigantic. Run for it, mates. Uh oh. Unfortunate. That man probably had a family. Nice teamwork, guys. Ayers Rock is clean of miners. The guru will be pleased. I'm glad he's pleased. All right, ten percent done with the game. Look at us go. Do we got a? Do we got a plan? Okay, maybe that is it. Hope oh, there is one for Bentley. Okay, well let's go ahead and head back to the hideout, and then we're actually gonna end the episode, and um, we'll continue next episode with Bentley.